Believe me, Leela. I can understand you. Really, I can. You can understand me. Like hell you can. Mommy would have been able to understand me. Mommy found herself in the same situation I'm in now with you, not once, but dozens of times. She always pretended not to know. You had a stream of women, but she just kept going. Not just for us children, but above all for you. She loved you, and so she forgave you. No matter what happened, she still wanted to be with you. But who were you? Who? That's what I always ask myself. You never gave anything. Not to her, not to me, nothing. You gave everything to your music. Music, music, music. There was nothing else in your life, only music and aridness. Never a caress, never a hug, never a kiss, nothing. You never knew anything about your children. Never knew if we were happy, if we were suffering, nothing. Everything was on mommy's shoulders. At home, the only thing you would ever say to her were two words, quiet Melanie. Mummy would explain to us, quiet, daddy's composing. Quiet, daddy's resting, he has a concert tonight. Quiet, daddy's on the phone to someone important. Quiet, daddy has Stravinsky coming to the house later tonight. You wanted to be Stravinsky, but you didn't have a single drop of his genius. Quiet, Melanie, were the only two things you knew how to say. You didn't know the first thing about my mother. You never bothered to take care of her. And even now you haven't brought her flowers for 10 years. And then that letter. You think mommy never read it? Well, you're wrong. She found it and she read it and I read it too. Well, you probably don't even remember that letter, but we do. The, the letter we found in which you professed your love for another man. Mommy had to endure that humiliation too. My necessary experimentation in sexual matters, as you put it. So your musical experimentation wasn't enough for you. No, you had to experiment in homosexuality too. And you didn't give a fuck about all the anguish that you caused her. So don't you come telling me that you can understand because you don't understand a fucking thing.